The sun shines because it is able to convert energy from gravity into light. How does it do this? Imagine being at the center of the sun. A huge amount of mass is above you, squeezing down on you from all sides. This is what happens to the hydrogen gas in the core of the sun. It gets squeezed together so tightly that four hydrogen nuclei combine to form one helium atom. This is called nuclear fusion. This episode is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. In the process, some of the mass of the hydrogen atoms is converted into energy in the form of light. The same process occurs in thermonuclear or fusion bombs. In the sun, the process occurs in a controlled manner. In a bomb, it happens all at once in a big chain reaction explosion. In the sun's core, the same amount of energy as 15 billion of such bombs is produced each second. The sun doesn't blow to pieces because of the tremendous weight of the gas above. It just exactly balances the pressure from all the energy produced. If the fusion rate would go down so that less energy was produced in the sun's core, then gravity would cause the sun to start collapsing. This would in turn squeeze the hydrogen atoms closer together until the amount of fusion went up by just enough to produce the energy needed to hold it up again. If the fusion rate in the sun's core goes up too much, then the pressure makes the sun expand a little so that the hydrogen isn't quite so closely packed. The right balance is again reached when the weight from the mass above the core exactly balances the pressure from all the energy being produced. Every second, the sun fuses 620 billion kg of hydrogen nuclei or protons into helium to produce 384.6 trillion trillion joules of energy per second. This is equivalent to the energy released in the explosion of 91.92 billion megatons of TNT per second. The type of nuclear fusion reactions that occur inside a star are entirely dependent on the core temperature. In the Sun, with a core temperature close to 15.6 million Kelvin, the predominant pathway by which more than 99% of solar energy is produced through conversion of hydrogen into helium nuclei is the proton-proton PP chain reaction. The Sun starts with protons and through a series of steps turns them into helium. Since the total energy of helium is less than the energy of the protons that went into it, this fusion releases energy, providing us all life on our planet. This episode is brought to you by My Astronomy Channel. Subscribe to our channel and enjoy free weekly universe episodes.